So today I want to explain provision logs just in a very general way. So provision logs are logs of everything that Upmind communicates to your external systems, your external provision environment. So those might be web servers, it might be domain names. On this test brand I've got here, I've created both a cPanel web server and a domain name uh, re registry. I've added OpenSRS. So I'm going to show you both of these. So this here is a domain I registered called registermytest.biz uh, here under this profile. You can see right at the top um, there is an error. This error is saying that there was an error somewhere with the provision configuration with a get info command. And the get info command is just one of these commands here available which gets information on a domain. If I run a get info now, let's see, I get authentication failed. The reason I get that authentication failed is because I've intentionally broken the logging details for um, OpenSRS. If, to show you more details on the error, you expand this modal, this gives you the full print of printout of the error in, in basically a JSON format. If you go down to results, you'll see full information on the error that's being provided. If I go into OpenSRS and I go to my OpenSRS login and then I go to my API keys which I think is actually in the new OpenSRS control panel. Account settings, PI settings. To settings to my provision configurations to OpenSRS and update that. Then, if I go back to my products and services and I click get info again, in theory, you see that's now run. It's also cleared. The historic error so now there's no issues with this provision configuration if I do another update so let's for example lock this domain that's a success and you'll see the lock is enabled again you can scroll down see the results and you'll see the message there is lock enabled let me show you what a client sees. So under this client's profile, they have access to run a few of these commands themselves, not all of them, but a few of them. For example, they could lock and unlock a domain name. They don't get to see their request log for obvious reasons. It contains information that they might not want to see. There's, you don't want to show them that your API credentials might be wrong. Often with domain providers, one of the issues might be that you just don't have any credit. And if you don't have credit, that again is not something you want to show to your clients. So this is it on a, an individual product basis. If you go to logs here and then provision request logs, you'll see here all of them. Uh, this is a log of all, everything that's happened. Uh, if we go to error, you'll see full errors here. So these are all the things that have not error, that have not happened correctly. Poll domain no notifications, that's domain polling. So that's where we sync all the latest things from, from the domain provider. You can see here a registration one failed and that's saying it registered because there was missing data. Let's try this again. Uh, you can see See, I haven't. There's no address postcode here, so this was going to error. And here, it actually stops it from registering. But if we updated that information, then registered, it would clear this historic request. It would then not show it in the log. We can also manually clear it here. Let me show you the logs on a hosting package. Again, same place. These are the options that are available. Here are the logs. Here's, for example, the login URL control, uh, login generated. Here's a create an account. If I wanted to suspend this account, you can 
is running this operation now. It takes a couple of seconds. Success. So you can see now the account is suspended. No, it's suspended. Well, no, it's suspended. The last thing to just explain to you, in fact, two. The first is scheduled requests. We run a get info request frequently, every seven days, on each service. The reason we do that is just to get the latest information from the server or the domain provider in order to get to, to make sure everything's in sync. For domain providers where we support polling, so where we get all the sync changes from the domain provider. We don't run a get info because the polling will update us on the status of everything. Also, dispatching requests. Dispatch just means when we've requested something, we haven't heard it back yet. On dispatch requests, which, for example, if I deleted this account, you'd see this dispatch, I could just cancel it there and that would stop it. Hopefully, that makes provision requests. Uh, a bit clear to you, we'll go into more depth later.